Hello everybody, welcome back to the land of Kakiak. My name is Laurel and I homeschool my three boys using the Robinson curriculum as the base of our education. Today I was just organizing some of my math supplies and I was actually getting some of my math workbooks kind of put together in preparation, kind of um, organizing them, things I've learned the hard way <laughs> and I want to do differently the next time around with my youngest. So he's not quite ready for, um, you know, addition and subtraction right yet, but you know, I know it is fast approaching and I'm just doing future Laurel a little, uh, solid today by going ahead and organizing stuff while the kids are outside playing. And I, ha I was just kind of printing off my, um, multiplication and division worksheet. Let me see. I'm working on the floor. I was getting them prepped out and then I decided I'm going to print them because I like to do a warm up and you can do this technique I'm going to show you with any kind of printable worksheets that if you use them, but I've printed everything single sided and then I have things that I like to use as warm ups that I'm going to now go and print on the back side of everything. Starting here with the division workbook pile. So I am going to, um, I already did a test. I like just, I wrote print, like, you know, cause these are already pre-printed. I wrote print on a piece of paper and then I, I tested and I, which side would print on the opposite side the way that I want. So I'm just gonna take a stack of these and stick them in the printer and I'll show you um, what I like to use as a warm up for my division um, section. I just pulled this all off. So now on the back side of everything. So when they open up their workbook, it'll be like this. So here's their warm up page and then whatever they're working on for the day will be over here. In this case, they'd be studying the key because they're going to have a test, right? But um, just, I don't know, just in case you run into the same um, printing kind of issues I do. It's not really an issue, but when I flipped them over like that, so they were like, they were all like this. Oops, this was the front, right? So I would take them and put flip it this way and stick it in my little back feeder, right? And then they come out printed right here. But just so you know, they come out completely in the opposite order. So this should have been my last page, right? So just um, keep an eye on that, especially if you have ones that aren't numbered. So I'm just gonna go through and quickly put these back in the correct order. And then I'm going to um, move into my multiplication and I'll show you what um, I have a different warm up sheet that I want to um, print onto the back side of all those pages. So I finished my division and my multiplication workbooks. Put those together and I'll just show you. Okay, so. So to flesh out their math workbook, I printed all of the worksheets, single-sided, like I showed you. And then, so I put for the multiplication, I put a multiplication table, um, like just a blank one for them to practice on the back side of all of my single-sided worksheets. That way, I like when they open it up for the day that they can see both their warm up and what they're working on in there that day. So they would write in all the ones that they know up to the point that they're on. So I don't go in a purely chronological order, like, you know, two through 12 or whatever. I go like two, five, 10, 11, right? I go to, I have a different order that I'm putting them in. But I like they can open it up and then they can put in every day. Their warm up will be to write in their table for the for what they've already gone over. So they're always getting review and they're always keeping those numbers and those sequences in their mind. And then they're doing some practice. And then they've got a test on whatever fact family they're working on, right? So they'll answer those and then they'll um, count by twos and then they'll have a fill in page, right? Um, there's the answer key. Then they'll move on to their fives, right? So they're gonna fill in every fifth. So they're seeing, that's kind of conceptualizing, you know, warm up. I think that was just a misprint there. <laughs> Can't 
count by fives or color in every fifth one. So they're going to do their warm up. So they'd be doing, they'd know their ones, their zeros or ones or twos, and their fives, right? They have a cumulative test, twos and fives, right? And that just continues on. They, and they just keep every day having a warm up and their actual workbook page. So I go all the way through the 12. So if they didn't, if like they didn't pass a test, you could have them like, you can, the nice thing with printable worksheets is you can just reprint them and have them do that section over again. Or you could have them just, you know, work on just the ones that they missed on their test and maybe just pull out just those flashcards and just have them do them every day for a few days to see if they get it and then retest them. Or um, I also have these sheets. This, this comes, I mean, this, what I'm showing you now is actually a bundle. Um, the division and the multiplication and it comes with these like a memory pyramid for um, practicing their skip counting to memorize those and math fact families you can see how they are when they filled out but they could work on if they are missing a certain fact just kind of working through it um, I also do incorporate rays with it so Right now, I actually have the raised workbooks that my oldest is working through, but I'm not sure that I, I would, I'm not sure that I want to repurchase those for my youngest. I may just, I'm, I'm putting this together now, and then I may just do the corresponding oral exercises in here, or maybe have him, um, you know, write them out, work them out on a board. These questions here, the ones that are written. Oh, that's subtraction. I want to say it's around... See, here it's, in, it's into the multiplication about halfway through. So you could always... I may just have them also just... To whatever fact family is on that week will also go through the exercises that are in here. And of course, if you're an RC member, um, you have access to, you know, um, a PDF of this. And then you can always find them in the public domain if you're not and they're free. But then I also found um, another RC mom tipped me off to Olney's and so I like um, a workbook that another RC mom put together um, she formatted an old math book into um, a workbook format so I like these and I'm including these in their workbook too so this is free to print out and I'll link this for you too and so I like that if they needed more practice if they don't have their math facts memorized if they're having troubles with certain one we could do more work in this workbook that I've also bound together with it just so they have more extra practice with it and even if they didn't have problems with it I'd probably have them I'm probably gonna have them work through this anyways just because I like them to have the word problems I think it's good for their mathematical thinking like flexibility you know to start applying those memorized facts to some problems and it's not that long, so I, yeah, anyways, I like that. So I think, look how thick that is though now. You see that? Like that's pretty good, right? Okay, so that was the warm up I picked to print on the back side of all of my worksheets. And then for division, a division warm up table. So this is what I printed on the back side of all my division worksheets. So they'll just write it in. And then I do include, because it comes with my workbook, there's a division table, like the full set, so they could look it up if they needed to. Or they could work it out on their abacus, you know, and um, then they're just gonna be writing that in. And that's gonna be their warm up to write in whatever um, division table that they're working on that time. And then they were, have whatever they're working on. And then we always follow up with flashcard work for like 10 minutes. A right pile wrong pile and um, then a math game a no, a no prep math game so that's what I like about this is it, it really simplifies my life they just know that's their normal math routine is that they're always going to come sit down math is first after we do Bible but let's say I was like sick or had a migraine <laughs> which I'm saying that because it happened today and I was just out of it and I had to take some medicine I was laying on the couch <laughs> in here with them but I like could not even open my eyes. So I was like, just do your math. I was like waiting for my <laughs> migraine medicine to kick in. And so my oldest, he just gets into a Saxon. Um, I much love my youngest, which is playing with toys or whatever in here, which is fine. And, um, you know, but in my second grader, he knows he just got out his um, multiplication. It's actually on his 
multiplication um, workbook. He did his warm up on his own. He did a workbook page. Then he just did his flashcards and he knew mom wasn't feeling good. So I wasn't going to be able to play the game with him that day. That's no big deal, right? By that time, my medicine was try starting to kick in. I was feeling a little bit better, you know? And so he got to read his McGuffey reader to me. No, no big deal. Anyway, so that simplifies my life, right? So I've got a routine. The kids know what it is. I have it all prepped out. It's all in one book. I'm not going between multiple books because I just combined everything into one. And ah, simple and clean, right? <laughs> Okay, so those were my little math uh, workbook hacks. And if you have any good ones, if you have any favorite like free math worksheets or math workbooks that you love, link them down below for us all so we can all check them out. Okay, happy homeschool.